Now I would say, given the data that we are in the last two minutes in our game of democracy, why? How can you have integrity of elections if you don't have integrity of facts? How do you know who to vote for? You're gonna trust your gut, how you feel? You're gonna trust what you think? Where does agency begin? When you don't have facts, you can't have truth. Without truth, you can't have trust. If you don't have these three, you can't have a shared reality, you can't have democracy, right? This is what we're living in today. What is disinformation? It is power and money to use lies or half-truths to attack bottom-up. You say a lie a million times, it becomes a fact, and then top-down, repeat the lie. So it's seeding the lie and then reaping the lie, right? So what is the problem? Our biology is being used against us, right? We have two systems of thinking as human beings. Daniel Kahneman wrote, thinking fast, thinking slow. Well, thinking slow, the part where you learn, where you listen, that part where you think is really slow. And so how do they manipulate us through thinking fast? Emotions, instincts. Right now, the social media platforms, the ones that deliver information to us, actually want you to keep scrolling. They want to keep your attention. And so, starting in 2018, studies began showing that lies are distributed at least six times faster than really boring facts. So if you see a lie, it travels significantly faster. Information warfare, right? It is being used against us, each of us. You know, some people will say that, oh my gosh, well, are we in World War III? And they'll point to Russia and Ukraine. That's the conventional war. And yes, there are dangers there, but World War III is happening to each of us on social media. It is a battle for our minds, a battle for our emotions, a battle of our values, right, that ultimately determine our reality. So how do we fight this? Well, it's a person-to-person -person defense, right? If each of the battle is individual, it comes down to each of us. So step up, folks. Your courage will determine not just the fate of the United States, but the fate of humanity. Thank you. Thank you so much.